Hi everybody, Nicole from Hair of the Dog here. I have a quick tutorial today and I think you're gonna like it. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to remove a leash when you have a really beautiful soft background, but for whatever reason, it just makes it yucky when you try to remove it. So let's go ahead and grab our spot healing tool right over here and let's just paint over this leash and try to remove it. You can see it starts to make like kind of a yucky little line and that's just not gonna work. So you can try maybe a patch tool. Whenever you have a gradient like this, it often, well that's not bad, but it's still not great. Look at that. Whenever you have a gradient like that, it becomes really, really challenging for Photoshop to figure out how it should be. So I have a little trick. We're gonna do Command J to duplicate a new layer. We're gonna come over here to our clone stamp and we are going to make a giant soft clone stamp. We're gonna come right over here, we're gonna click Option to pull our sample from right here, and we're gonna come right here, we're just gonna go ahead and paint in that area. Grab another sample from here. And it's okay that we're going over the dog's head right here. It's not a problem. Because we are going to mask this out. Because masking is the most magical of all the Photoshop options. All right, so now we're gonna go right down here to the bottom right hand of our screen and we're gonna click on this little add a mask button which is the rectangle, white rectangle with the black circle. Click that, we add a mask. Command I to invert and then we're just gonna grab B for our brush. I'm gonna make it nice and big. Right now since I inverted the mask, you can see that it's all black right here. So I wanna make sure that I'm gonna paint with white. And then I'm just gonna go on here. Oh, my brush is hard, let's change that. Make sure you have a super soft brush. And we're just gonna brush that on right here. You can see that just gets rid right there of any of those yucky lines. Now you can see with the clone stamp did do a funny little line right up here, right up there, but we can go ahead and fix that pretty easily. So we will command option shift E. And what that does is it creates a new layer of all the layers underneath while preserving this layer mask. So I didn't just flatten it. If I need to go back and change anything, I still have this layer mask, mask access. Um, so I use that a lot. Command Option Shift E makes a new layer that is basically a smushed up flattened layer of all of the layers underneath. So for here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our spot healing tool and I'm just gonna paint right on there and Photoshop should be able to handle that. And it did. So there we go, we got rid of our leash. Easy peasy. That looks good, so now I'm gonna go Command Shift E and totally flatten everything because the next thing I need to work on are all of those tear stains. Those are not fun. Um, you know, white dogs often get tear staining by their eyes or around their muzzle. This dog, it was really wet that morning we were photographing. So, you know, they put their nose down on the ground and they get all the wetness around their face. So I created an action that I have down here for you guys to have as a free download. And that action is going to remove tear stains. Boom. So you press it and it just comes up. It has a layer mask. It's already inverted. You should already have your brush selected. And we're going to get nice and close to these tear stains. And we're going to make a nice small brush. And we're just going to paint it on. So basically what I did to create this action is I went into an adjustment layer and I did a targeted adjustment to pick up that color. It was like kind of reds, oranges, yellows. And then I pulled down the saturation and I pulled up the luminance. So the challenge is you're still gonna have a little bit of dark streaks, but you're gonna be able to take the color out. And this is a little heavy, so I'm gonna come back and pull the opacity off in a second. I just wanna paint it on to all the areas that I want to paint it on. If you have just a couple really heavy streaks around a muzzle, sometimes you can just use a spot healing tool and get rid of those hairs. Sometimes, like in this case, there's just too many. And then right down here in its ears, we're gonna brush that. Get rid of that orange and zoom out a little bit. We've got some more orange over here. Now this dog did have a little bit of orange in his ears, so we're gonna leave that. But if that was kind of staining, you can pull that off as well. There's before and after. You can see you can pull it out from around their eyes really easily too. And get rid of some of that red. 
that's a little too much we still need the red around the eye there we go and then it's before and after we can play a little bit with the opacity I want to pull that back down sometimes it doesn't look right at 100% but I'm gonna go right here about 60 I'll zoom out before and after you can see it just takes away some of that redness Hope you guys find that helpful and check out hairofthedogblog.com for more pet photography tips.